Welcome back. We are starting with the second session of the discussion. Uh, our next theme is what are you doing to reduce waste? And we obviously produce a lot of waste and people don't usually like to talk about waste, but it's a really important uh, part of sustainability. And because there are so many different countries and different experiences and not all countries recycle like in Japan, I would like to hear what all of you think about this subject. Okay, Jen? I think I want to use my example to say to talk about this topic. Uh, like my computer, my laptop is four years old. Uh, it's very old for because usually just roast it and just uh, throw the computer like in two min two years. Um, but I keep using it. But yet last year I find that it's it does not work so good so fast. So then I try to solve to make it better, and I found the the bottleneck is a memory band. So I bought a uh, four gigabyte memory band to replace the uh, original one gigabyte memory band. And right now, it still works so well. So, so easy, <laughs> problem solved. And it's continue using, and I don't uh, cause so much waste on the customer electric. Very nice example. OK, Aki? I wanted to hear your comment uh, two days ago because I bought a computer yesterday <laughs> because my old computer was out of order. Mm. Uh, you can update it. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> and uh, what I want to suggest is uh, to save water. I'm using water cleaner and uh, uh, water cleaner which saves water. And I do not take bath every day. And usually I take a uh, shower to reduce waste of water. That's my idea. Nice. Any other? OK. Junpei? Can I want to hear the Chen's opinion, his e your experience. So you mean you just replaced the memory yeah. of your laptop? So you are using your plastics and screens. So you are using the same computer. Yeah, it's a wonderful, wonderful way to continue using. But few people are actually doing this way. So what what do you think is the reason or the cause of? Because I major in engineering. Uh huh. I major in engineering, so I might know how to update my computer to make it work economically and effectively. And by the way, reduce the waste. So yeah, if I you have a problem with that fixing your computer, you can turn to me. Thanks. <laughs> Nazru, you had something to say? Mm, actually, uh, waste management uh, system, there is 3R system. 3R means first are reduce, second are reuse, and third are means recyclable. If we maintain this 3R theory, then waste management is not a problem. Yeah, you, you told your laptop story, but you cannot avoid because uh, world and technology is more advanced. Yeah, you have now old computer. If you you in market in available in another new technology and they give you a i think more offer more option you must buy this yeah so this is not avoidable but we think about how we can reduce the oysters this is one of the example you do this because you told uh, as some told you are an engineer but I am not engineer, so I don't know how I can reuse my old laptop. Yeah, but you think in the world, engineer more, uh, I don't know percentage of engineer or 
people who know the computer well. Yeah, maximum people don't know the technology or well in computer. So they always waste the old one and then get try to get new one. Yeah. So we now we are thinking the reduce the wastes. How we can reduce this? In my country, Bangladesh, we use the city corporation wastes to fill the landfill. Yeah. We don't know the technology. How uh, we can use this recycle well, or waste, uh, I think we can sorting the organic waste or inorganic waste or uh, burnable or non burnable We don't know the technology. Huh. So I think you uh, first we need to aware. When we I throw the waste, I think, what is this? Before throwing the waste, I think, what is this? And I think this is the way uh, we can reduce the waste if I think before the Thank uh, you, throwing. Mr. Let's hear what uh, Eddie or Afuna have to say. Um, Chen, uh, Chen, <laughs> you fixed your you fixed your computer because you are you are you're studying uh, engineering, but like me and uh, like my family, we don't know how to fix and uh, because uh, and most of the el electronic products uh, for most of the electronic products it's actually it's uh, it's better for us to buy new one because in Japan especially in Japan it's really cheap <laughs> <laughs> than fix it okay. than fixing it so and I don't know why but uh, in in my home and the electronic products uh, would be would be broke down so many times so most of the times my mom said my mom said to me that uh, oh we have to buy new one because uh, if we if we fix it 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 costs too much for fixing so it's better for us to buy new one because it's a uh, it's already a new product and brand new one so what do you think how how can we do because uh, to fix something is really costly for us so now as we in japan it's easier it's easier to get new one maybe a phone can give an opinion yeah. uh, thank you Arizona. uh that was a good point i really i really appreciate it like the problem is i see is uh, especially in recycling using materials uh, like uh, electronic especially refrigerator television computer whatever whatever household things are the their main problem is especially in japan is the cost of repair maintenance cost of maintenance is almost you just pay uh, like 75 percent of the cost of the original price of a new brand one so that makes you just pay uh, something additional more and buy have a new one and nobody in this world uh, doesn't like a new and new brand one in his households so that is how people are getting motivated always now in the end that they just throw away the old one and just give some money and get one because whenever you, you are buying something you have insurance and uh, and you have some bank loan bank, bank loans you can take loans and so you are always motivated it is always in favor of buying this planet we are living is in favor of buying instead of in, fa in favor of uh, maintaining what we have by just maintenance repair so uh, usually th even in the uh, uh, in the supermarket, when you go in the supermarket, they give you some plastic things. They are just they are used and throw. The, you can't maintain them for long. Even they have plastic bags or something, you just keep them, use them for a while. You take them home and you just throw them. But that the important thing, maybe th one of these solution could be how to maintain how or how to have uh, low price for maintenance or repair. Another thing is like uh, Nazrul San was saying, like. Uh, how to have uh, to differentiate the waste things and uh, then uh, recycle them properly to be used. Like for example, if they are plastic, you can use them again, or paper, you can use them in different purpose. So uh, one major step is that to have different separate waste materials, and the other thing is uh, the to have, that's what I see, but thank you. Okay. Uh, Let's go to Nazrul. Thank you, Aparna San. You mentioned the plastic. Or yeah. So in my country, Bangladesh, polythene, like polythene in city area, Dhaka is the capital of Bangladesh. So Bangladesh government banned the polythene use. 
because in polythene uh, have big problem in drainage system in dhaka city the polythene collapsed the drainage system so uh, we use the jute jute bag uh, this is uh, jute this is the fiber natural fiber from jute plant it's a biodegradable uh, material so you can use jute plant this is sustainable because in you use polythene or plastic bag one time we use one time plastic or polythene bag and then after use then we throw it but when you use jute bag natural you can use it uh, several times or one year continue yeah. when you throw it it's biodegradable when it's the soil bacteria it's de uh, degradable so it's uh, uh, i think it's environment friendly and also sustainable so if we use this kind of product so maybe uh, we reduce the some oysters i think so thank you let's hear what chen has to say oh. uh, uh, okay okay Aki first <laughs> excuse me uh, is jute bag is made of a plant yeah plant fiber oh I plant thank fiber. you okay what i want to say is that first i have proposed my example of uh, updating it's not fixing my computer it's updating my com computer then uh, I just use an example just I want to say it's not should not be confined to electric products it could be also applied to Naru's and say like to use uh, like bags do not use the plastic sheet right so it could be used for many products just use it longer for more times do not we don't need the disposable just like chopsticks we can have your own chopstick when you go to, you have lunch. We don't use uh, disposable chopsticks. That's a good way to decrease the waste. And my example is just an example. And what I want to say that this, this theory of updating your products you are using could be used for so many stuff in your daily life. So just we need to think about that. That's a I think that's a very good comment. I have okay. <laughs> comments. Um, I when I came in Japan, I really don't think why Japanese or Chinese people use selfie stick. Yeah, in in my country we use only hand, the hand, yeah, to take food. So in uh, is, is this is unhygienic? You think uh, when we take food in hand with your hand is it unhygienic or selfie stick is hygienic? Because selfie stick create more oysters, I think. Yeah, so I, I don't know why uh, Japanese or Chinese people use selfie stick. <laughs> because we use direct hand. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's. Okay, let's hear from Junpei. I think it's just because of cultural difference. <laughs> so I don't think the chopsticks make a huge problem about recycling and making huge waste I think we can just use chopsticks and wash it just briefly and use it so it won't be so unsustainable well okay let's yeah. hear from let's hear from our phone now uh, thank you and the, the point is a good point like uh, f if you see that from uh, just from outside even before I came to Japan I was uh, I was following a news about this thing. Uh, the Japanese people, they consume a lot of uh, trees for the chopstick, but it's not like that. When I heard about it, uh, there is a policy in the government that for every, I don't, I don't remember exactly the quantity of data, for every tree uh, cut for a chopstick, there are some amount of trees to be planted. So, uh, of course, uh, we have to use the, the, the natural resource, and at the same time, we have to maintain it. That's maintenance is a very important thing. That's how the sustainability. If you plant, for example, I don't, I'm not giving a, um, a data, just if you plant for one tree, a 10 tree for one cut tree, that is, it means you are maintaining, at least you have uh, doubling it by 10 times. So I think there is this kind of policy. Maybe the uh, friends from Japan, they know this yeah, thing. This, this, this are my information. But I just want to mention something that, uh, maybe you guys have heard uh, you have seen it on youtube it was uh, on the facebook it was also on the uh, world student summit environmental uh, summit uh, it was 
about the cycle of uh, plastic. Maybe if you got uh, have seen it, like it was 15 minutes YouTube uh, broadcasting. It's how it started the plastic bag. It started from the shop and goes to the park and goes to the to the households and goes outside from the house and then flies to the to the uh, trees and from the trees to the small streams and river and then to go to the ocean and finally it ends up in the big uh, uh, plastic uh, population on the Pacific Ocean. We have a big plastic population which uh, is not easily degradable. So that have had it been that single plastic was saved by that person who bought it and saved it properly and sent it to a recycle industry it will not be going to the uh, to the big uh, plastic population in the pacific ocean so uh, what it is matters is we should keep from our individual whatever we get it we should send it properly to where it belongs like if you have a cane you have to send it to where it should be recycle it if you have a bottle you have to send it to a bottle if you have a paper you have to send it that like what we do here in japan like you have the the plastic bottles and the cane bottles and the uh, burnable and non-burnable so we should have proper maintenance it, it depends on the personal perspective we should make the change ourselves like change ourselves whatever you use our daily things we should really uh, maintain on that thank one. you let's thank hear you. what aki had to say just a moment ago. <laughs> I was just wanted to say uh, we have to cut trees in order to uh, grow trees uh, healthy, healthily. So anyways, we will have to use uh, trees uh, which is not for like houses. So we can, by using these trees, we can product uh, chopsticks. Yeah, that's my idea. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Sammy? Uh, about um, the discussion proposed by, by Naruzan, uh, I think the problem is not chopstick. <laughs> the problem <laughs> is that <laughs> we should think about how to use them more, recycle them to reduce waste. That's the focus, I think. As Afona san say, say maintenance, yeah, it's so good. Maintenance. As I have studied the maintenance, I studied the concrete to, f to use the concrete longer. So that's the maintenance of infrastructure. So maintenance, the theory of maintenance could be applied to everywhere, every field. So we just need to think about how to maintenance road products, the building we are using, and the electric applicants we are using, even the clothes we are wearing. So that's the focus, I think. OK, uh, Junpei? Hi, uh, Chen made a good point. So what I'm doing when I think of reducing waste, so I think of three hours reduce and reuse and recycle. So Chen showed the example of clothes. I, if I'm bored with wearing these clothes, I firstly think of I can wear in my house, not in public. So I think of that. And as for reusing, someone want to wear these clothes, really. Someone maybe likes this red color. So I could give it to someone or this is made from fiber, so we can recycle to the other clothes. So thinking about three hours could be the way to reduce our waste drastically, I think. So Thank you. Thank you. Let's hear from Eddie. Yeah. Uh, thank you for Chen and Junpei, and I really agree with it. And uh, I think so. We really need the maintenance for garbage or the things which is wasted. So in Japan, uh, I think the I think that the garbage should be more should be more classified, uh, classified by plastic, not only plastic, not only the the garbage which is flam flammable, flammable. <laughs> Sorry, and but like for clothes or like for chopstick also, because uh, yeah, I think the it should uh, we should make the 
uh, we should recycle the chopstick which is used which is used yeah chopsticks are used you said are you sorry no. <laughs> a foreigner said that the chopstick it the chop, chop uh, the, the chopstick is uh, is not needed is not needed uh, it's made of it's made of not used not used trees uh, actually I, I say that. Actually, I mentioned that the, 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 the it, is, it depends on the trees, of course. But oh. as far as we are plan we are uh, planting the to replace the trees cut for chopstick, it is still at safe on the safe way because still we are maintaining the uh, are replacing the trees. Like if you cut if you plant ten trees for one tree, that is how it is for maintenance. I think. Okay, guys, the time is up for this session. Uh, so we heard many good opinions about uh, reducing waste, about uh, different countries having different practices. We heard about computers, we heard about uh, bags made from jute, which I think is a very nice idea. We had the whole discussion about chopsticks. So I hope this inspires you to think more about the waste and the, the objects you use daily. Thank you very much for uh, staying with us.